In this lesson, we will look at how you can reduce test flakiness with Cypress using automatic test retries. So let's go. Here we have a base create react app application that renders a link learn react. Then we have a Cypress test for this particular application in app.spec.tsx where we try to get that particular link and ensure that it has the text learn react. Now we can run the test as well as the application by opening up the terminal and running npm run Cypress open. If you are interested in learning more about how this particular project is set up, I do have a lesson on that and I will leave a link to that in the description. Now we go ahead and click this test app.spec.tsx and as you would expect, it passes because we are able to get that anchor tag and assert that it has the correct text. Now let's jump back to our application code and add some non-deterministic real world kind of behavior. So we set up this variable show that will be true only half of the times as indicated by math.random less than 0.5. And now instead of always showing the anchor tag, we will only show the anchor tag when the show variable is true. So show nn that is show is true, then show the anchor tag. Now at this point you could say that our application specification is incorrect because the anchor tag doesn't always show. Well, we can fix that. We can create an effect that whenever this component mounts, we set up a timer to always set show to true irrespective of its previous value. This means that our application specification is not actually incorrect, it's just that there is a timing issue that will cause it to fail half of the times. And we can verify that by opening up the Cypress test, running it, and you can see that it passes a few times and fails intermittently. And even when it does fail, the application still gets that anchor eventually, just after the test has timed out. Now we could fix this by jumping into our application spec test and adding some smart delays, but the problem with that is that real world delays are really as deterministic as this case. So let's look at another approach. We know that our tests are going to fail half of the times. So if you were to try the test twice, the likelihood of it failing would be 0.5 into 0.5, that is 0.25. And if you were to retry 10 times, then the likelihood of it failing would be 0.5 to the power of 10, which is an extremely small chance. Now adding automatic test retries with Cypress is extremely easy. All we need to do is open up our Cypress.json configuration file and add a section for retries to the number of attempts that we want to retry, which we will set to 10. And now if we jump back to the Cypress test runner and run our test again, there will be no retries when the test passes. However, when the test does fail, once it does fail, it will automatically do a retry. And because of our configuration of 10 attempts, the likelihood of this particular test ever failing is very low. And that's the reason why I think you should always switch on retries within your tests. It's always great when you can remove flakiness in your tests just by a configuration option instead of having to fiddle around with the code in your test. And that's all for this lesson on automatic test retries with Cypress. Smash that like button and subscribe for more lessons like this and I will see you in the next one.